Friday, August the 4th, 2023. It's now 2.40 p.m. Now I'm getting this weird rash on my ear. It's itching. Okay, let me click this light on for my plants. Got a little one right here that need to be pruned off. So, like I said about these ivies, they are very, 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 very strong. Yes, indeed, they are. And it's hot as the devil's piss. It's hot as the devil's piss in this room. And our damn light bill was $310. Oh, what is going on? I told my daughter to check my ear. She said she didn't see nothing. But I feel a light rash on my freaking ears. Like, what the hell? This stuff be making my skin do all kind of strange things. And I ain't getting no damn change. So, anywho. And this fan over here is dirty as all get out. From the shit that comes out of this air conditioning. So my light bill was $310. This month. But they claim. The the uh, public housing HUD. Yeah I'm going to get my, my language together. My verbiage together. Of who exactly to say and to name. But anyway. These people here in Lincoln Park Apartments. Claim I get a utility allowance. And that I was always supposed to get a utility allowance since I occupied this, uh, since I took, uh, you know, since I started living here. But again, my light bill, like I said, is $310. So it's always some finagling. So on my Facebook page, and I'm going to show y'all what that is on this, uh, this video right here. I'm going to make sure I put this video right now, right after I get done with it. And, um. And so, um, that's what they claim. So I don't burn none of the candles and nothing on my altar, no, altar, I can't even talk, altar anymore because it's so fucking hot. Plus I'm out of them anyway, so I'm doing tea lights. So, um, anywho, uh, what was I finna do? I'll do that later. Um, okay, everything is good. That's why I really don't open this blind too much like that on my videos because it make it more hotter in here. So, anywho... The purpose of this video is to say that I'm going to include these pictures in here of that me and my daughter took showing that there's an issue with this particular unit as well. I'm so glad. Um, so my daughter took pictures of all the stuff, the, the, the debris, the dust, this toxic dust. That's coming out. What my baby do last time she touched it or something. There it is. And it got clipped. And let me turn this up some. Just a little bit. Yeah. That's coming out of the AC vents and landing on everything. Um, so we have bought some more of the mold wars. Mold. Kits. We're waiting on them to come in right now. And um, then we will be testing them. To see what actually is coming out. Now. Thank you Spirit. You just reminded me what this video is about. So. What this video is about. Is. Talking about how. Toxic black mold. Affects your body. And. I started talking about this on my. Videos. When all this stuff came to. All this. When it came to my, when the, when it, how can I say this? When spirit guided me to test what I kept wiping down all the time. And this happened at 
We went for recertification. Yes, absolutely. The October 2021. And after my daughter and I left out of the office, I didn't want to come back in here. Well, not here because I was in the other unit in the back on the back side of the apartment. And I was like, oh, my gosh, like, I don't want to go back in there because even though it was a sunny day, it wasn't like just stupid hot, like ridiculous, stifling hot to where I just wanted to stay out for a while and get fresh air because I didn't realize that that toxicity being breathed in for so long had absolutely affected my central nervous system. And that's what the tremors and all that stuff was, the, the, the foggy brain and, you know, my nose started to be, you know, having blood, dried up blood in it, it's all kind of stuff that I was like, what the hell going on? Didn't realize it was literally my living, my living space. So my daughter, I'm in a wheelchair. She pushed me in a wheelchair which is a wheelchair that I've been having for years. That was my mother's, my late mother's wheelchair that she gave it to my daughter when my daughter broke her leg and had to have surgery. And, you know, that's how I got, that's how I acquired this wheelchair. And um, so my daughter had me in the wheelchair and we were sitting in the these apartments in the back back here where it has a, a what is it called? It's a... a I remember Sharonda had called the name of it, the, the pond, basically like a little baby bayou or whatever in, in between um, the parking lot and the, what street is right literally behind here? It ain't Banjo because Banjo is right here uh, by the post office. Whatever, whatever street is directly behind Lincoln Park Apartments. So this would be West Little York, right behind Lincoln Park Apartments, literally right behind it. So banjo boom, the first street. Anyway, this this re recess pond or whatever it's called, it catches excess water, you know, because Acres Home tends to flood. Um, and that's what I was just she was just like, she had me in the wheelchair. I was sitting in the wheelchair, she pushed me up up, up like right there in the parking lot. The parking lot was empty. The visitors' parking lot was empty. So I remember this. That spirit gave me a download and said, I need you to test what's coming out your vents. And I was like, what? I need you to test what's coming out your vents. So I was like, okay. So I come in and I have no idea what to look at. Like, I just got that download. I have no idea what to look at. So with that being said, um, it comes up on Amazon. I put in mold test. That's what I put in, mold test. And it comes up on, on Amazon. So what made me purchase this, this, this specific test was I'm an avid reader of the comments. I read the comments. Some lady said she had a lot of debris, like dust, thick soot dust kept coming out of her. She assumed it was the vents because where else would it come from? Okay. Um, yeah, she said she kept having to wipe down all her surfaces all the time, all the time. So she tested it. And, and was like, oh my God, what have I been breathing in? So I was like, wow, I hope that I can actually find that particular comment and insert it in this video. Because I love to give you guys receipts. And just to show you how the spirit of the most high God, you know, the exalted God, the Godhead, the divine feminine, divine masculine, the androgynous God, the, the God that is not a respecter of persons. What that means is... That, you know, you can get your ass beat just like a little child can. You know what I'm saying? You can be chastised just like your child can be chastised. You're not too old to get an ass whooping from the most high. The most high. The most high. Okay? And um, just to show you guys how things work for me. How it is this, this, this whole journey of coming from paying my rent just like anybody else working, paying your rent in an apartment. And all the sequence of events that led me to Lincoln Park and led me to go through all the things I've went through since I have lived here from the hands of the government. Okay? The government. Who governs these type of entities? The property management company. 
Houston Urban Development, Houston Housing Authority, and all the other little players in between and all interconnected. So, okay, so I go and I see that and I see that that comment and I'm like, oh gosh, okay, Spirit, I hear you. And I buy about three or four of them because they're ten dollars. So I think we spent about forty dollars. I bought them. They came in. I literally bursted out in tears when my daughter was swabbing different areas of the apartment where it was really thick at. And the Petri dishes, she hadn't sent them out yet. So she hadn't sealed them or whatever. So she pulled out the Petri dish. Oh, no, oh, no, no, no. Something she missed, miss, uh, she put the wrong label. Like, you know, she put the label that this is the vent in the kitchen. Something. She messed up with the label or something. But she had to open, unseal one of them to fix it for whatever reason. And the, the way it had, she had just barely did the, the sample and put it in there. And way it started growing. I literally started crying because I was like, oh my God, what is that? So, I'm going to make sure that I link certain videos to this, okay? I mean, it's been very, 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 very discombobulating to still be getting even sicker after moving out of the unit 1904 here in Lincoln Park Apartments and being transferred to allegedly a, a cleaner environment one that is not overgrown with toxic you know mold and microtoxins in the air so definitely i'm going to connect or put in the in card um the video of me doing the marcon's nasal exam as well as the, him uh the third party mold inspector called mold sciences that the lincoln park uh management whomever decided to hire to test it now mind you i say that to say this there's already somebody else living in 1904 so i paid attention to how long it stayed empty to how long it took for somebody else to be in there so this is not anything to play with guys this is like this is literally like a a, a, a what would you call what is it called is it bio bio warfare basically warfare against the the human vessel the body to know that these apartments something happened when they put them together with the air conditioning i don't know if the insulation is what's breaking down and blowing I don't know if they purposely and intentionally did it that way because I have lived in apartments here in Houston, Texas for my entire 49 years. I mean, of course, I was raised in, in you know, in Carverdale, Fairbanks, Houston, uh, Carverdale neighborhood. And um, that's North Gessner over there, y'all. Uh, Tanner Road. Yeah. Burnside Street. That's why I was, you know, Carverdale. They call it Carverdale, Texas. That's where I was actually born, uh, uh, raised at and whatnot. And um, for many years of my childhood, so I was raised up in a house, but never did there ever have anything with water damage or anything going on with my breathing. I lived in many older apartment complexes and how did I start learning about the age of an apartment complex? Because whenever I would go searching to look for a new place to move to, they would include this, this, this complex was built in 1982 and things like that. So I've lived in older apartment complexes and never have I ever gotten so sick just from trying, got so sick because I'm trying to breathe inside of my unit. Okay. So when spirit gave me the download to order these tests, and my daughter actually started swabbing certain areas and labeling it. We sent it off. And we will get a report back. Okay. So I have already done that once already in this particular unit that we're in now. That's supposed to be a uh, mold free hazard, you know, biohazards. Thank you, spirit. Biohazard free. And saw some very scary things on the report. So I'm still living in 
a biohazard atmosphere. So now how does this tie together with the soft lawn apartments that Dr. Candace Matthews and the Black Panther Party, some of them another, was all on the news about. And I'll have my daughter insert that right here. Cause she good at this editing stuff. Okay. And um, how does it tie in together? They were having inspections done on the people that lived in South Lawn Apartments. With the malicious intent to fail them as biohazard inhabitable units. So they got to move out without giving them a recourse, without giving them a, 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 a safer, cleaner environment to be in. This was involved in speaking for the people over there. Uh, this is proven that it's connected. Okay. So as you can see, y'all know I'm very famous of holding apartments accountable. Okay. Y'all know I'm the one that's the voice for the voiceless. And so we're here today because I'm here to expose some corruption. And it's not with the Eureka multifamily organization this time. Because when we dealt with Sterling Shire Apartments last year, I made sure when I spoke to Candace Venezuela, who is the Southwest Regional Director for HUD under Secretary Fudge, I made a promise that I was going to stay on top of Eureka multifamilies to ensure that all the properties in Houston are being done fairly and not having the travesty that happened in the Sterling Shire apartments. And these, the Eureka multifamily has held their end of the bargain. And that's why I'm here. Because see, let me explain something. The Houston Housing Authority didn't know how much involved that I was within this whole process, okay? They had three inspections. One of them was actually a legal inspection that was done in October. You can go on my Facebook Live, you can see I was here a day before and I'm walking this, walking this property. And when they came out in October, I was dressed like the tenants. They didn't even know that I was there watching that inspection and then check this they did not even give eureka multifamilies the actual inspection report we had to get it from a former employee who no longer works there and we got the email to prove it that they passed that was the annual inspection that they passed so so now i guess that wasn't good enough so then we got another email, which we're going to give to the media, that it was a second inspection that happened in November, which was a, in, an illegal inspection because you turned around and said you wanted to inspect this property because you had other people that was just starting to work for Houston Housing Authority, and then you wanted to bring them to come do that inspection in November, right? Illegal because technically you're only supposed to give one inspection a year. And that inspection was done in October. Okay. It was supposed to have been done in September until it was, they asked, Eureka them asked to push it back to October and that's what happened and they passed. Now check this. Now, moving forward to January, January 10th, 11th and 12th. They didn't even know I was on the property. I had a hair bonnet on, I had on some sweatpants, and I had a t-shirt and some flip-flops with a baseball cap. Right and I'm watching the illegal activities that happen. Because let me explain something to y'all. The Houston Housing Authority, what they did, they did a third-party inspection in that month of January. So if that was a third-party inspection, why was the Houston Housing Authority inspector by the name of Cheryl Rivers, why was she on this property? I heard her with my own ears my telling the other third party inspector to fail as many units as you can. Oh. My God. No, now this ain't something somebody told me. You heard I heard it. Woo. 
I even got the pictures, and I'm going to give it to you, media, so you will see she was on this property and wasn't supposed to be on here. That is corruption if you ever want to see it. And I'm going to tell you, I smell a rat in the sewage of corruption, and I'm going to drain every one of them. So this is my question. Why? This, my question is why? Why? Who paid you? I want to know why and why do you want to be an agent of white supremacy to disenfranchise your own people? I want to know who paid you because I'm going to throw that helmet at them next. Now, it was brought to my attention that all of a sudden now she's no longer going to be working out. How convenient. How convenient. How convenient. How you sleep at night doing that type of corruption, telling another third party to fail as many units as you can. The devil is a lie. So let me bring up Mr. Sledge Leonidas, and he's representing the Morehouse Alumni Association. As you can see, we have gathered here with our family. And anytime you see Dr. Matthews pulling up on the scene, that means the jig is up. 